In this video we will discuss about fundamentals of networking. What is network? A computer network is a collection of computers and other hardware components interconnected by communication channels, cables or satellites that allow sharing of resources and information. Topics that we discuss are Peer-to-peer -peer architecture Client-server architecture Types of networks Advantages associated with networking Internet World Wide Web Modem Internet Service Provider Data Transfer on the Internet Peer-to-peer -peer Architecture Networks in which all computers have an equal status are called peer-to-peer -peer networks. Generally in such a network each terminal has an equally competent CPU. Client-server architecture. Client-server architecture is a computing model in which the server hosts, delivers and manages most of the resources and services to be consumed by the client. The computers which provide services are called servers and the ones that use these services are called clients. Types of networks. Local area network. Metropolitan area network. Wide area network. Personal Area Network Local Area Network It is one which connects computers and devices in a limited geographical area such as home, school, computer laboratory, office building, or closely positioned group of buildings. Metropolitan Area Network MAN is consisting of a computer network across an entire city, college campus, or a small region. Spread within a city. Wide Area Network One Wide Area Network is another important computer network that which is spread across a large geographical area. The Internet is the most popular one, and is used by businesses, governments, non-profit organizations, individual consumers, artists, entertainers, and many others. Personal Area Network PAN is a computer network formed around a person. It generally consists of a computer, mobile, or personal digital assistant. PAN can be used for establishing communication among these personal devices for connecting to a digital network and the Internet. Advantages of Networking Internet Access Sharing You can purchase a single Internet connection and share it among other computers in a network instead of purchasing multiple Internet connection for each computer. Cost Factors The main advantage of using networking is to reduce the cost of network by means of resource sharing. Data Sharing One of the most important uses of networking is to allow the sharing of data. Users can send text files, spreadsheets, documents, presentations, audio files, video files, etc. to other users. Hardware Sharing Hardware components such as printers, scanners, etc. can also be shared. Internet The Internet, sometimes called simply the Net, is a worldwide system of computer networks a network of networks in which users at any one computer can, if they have permission, get information from any other computer. World Wide Web It is abbreviated as WWW or W3 commonly known as the web, is a system of interlinked hypertext documents accessed via the Internet. With a web browser, one can view web pages that may contain text, images, videos, and other multimedia, and navigate between them via hyperlinks. Modem a acute modem is a device that converts digital computer signals into a form analog signals that can travel over phone lines. It also reconverts the analog signals back into digital signals. The word modem is derived from its function modulator demodulator. Internet Service Provider An Internet Service Provider ISP, is an organization which provides you with access to the Internet via a dial-up using modem or direct hardwired or wireless connection. Some of the ISP in India are IDEA Vodafone Geo MTNL BSNL Airtel 
What is dial-up? Dial-up Internet access is a form of Internet access that uses the facilities of the public switched telephone network PSDN to establish a connection to an Internet service provider ISP via telephone lines using a device called modem. What is cable Internet access? It is a form of broadband Internet access that uses the cable television infrastructure. Cable Internet access is provided through existing cable TV networks. This is similar to DSL that is provided over existing telephone lines. Data transfer on the Internet In very simple language, let's see what happens to a piece of data, say a web page, when it is transferred over the Internet. The data is broken up into bits of same sized pieces called packets. A header is added to each packet explaining where the data has come from where it should end up and where it fits in with the rest of the packets. Each packet is sent from computer to computer until it finds its destination. At the destination, the packets are examined. If any packets are missing or damaged, a message is sent asking for them to be resent. The packets are now reassembled into their original form.